With a fresh ham, it's really going to take what you add to it. One of the first things that I like to do is from the uh, bone of the ham, I start at the top, I kind of like making a little score about a quarter of an inch around the ham. You see that right there? You can also see the color of the ham. It has that pinky sort of almost uh, rich meat color. And why am I scoring the ham? It's not just to make the ham pretty, but why I'm scoring the ham is because the fat that you definitely want on the outside of the ham is going to begin to start dripping as it cooks and start tenderizing not only the meat, but also is going to begin to start adding tremendous flavor. We're going to start it off in a 450 degree oven for the first hour, and then we're actually then going to go lower the oven down to about 350, and then we're going to finish that um, for about three, three and a half hours or until we get an internal temperature of about 155 degrees. Now, here's what I want to do. I want to take some essence, which is just a blend of spices, and I want to, to the essence, I want to add some salt. That would be my sodium. Some fresh ground pepper. And then I'm just going to take this little whisk like this and have this dry marinade and begin to start seasoning it all over the ham. Now, when I put it in the roasting pan, I have the bottom part of the ham, and so I want to be able to season that as well because that's where the flesh is exposed. And then I'll add this back on the side and finish with the dry rub 450 for the first hour, and then we're going to lower the temperature down to about 350 and let it slowly cook for another three, three and a half hours. This glaze is very simple. We're going to take about almost a quart of orange juice. We're going to take the zest of at least a half an orange. To that, I'm going to add one cup and a third of a cup of brown sugar. I'm going to add a cinnamon stick, a bay leaf, about six cloves, some peppercorns, and some allspice. Now, we're going to bring this up to a boil. This ham, I told you, has been lowered to 350 degrees already. This is like two and a half, close to three hours in it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that, that glaze and we're going to start glazing that ham. See how I'm doing that? Tell me somebody's got a shot of this, guys. Yes? Oh, perfect. See that? Now that glaze starts getting inside of where we scored the ham. And then we're going to come back and keep doing that now like about every 15 minutes. A meat thermometer on. We're going to check the temperature of this right now. Look at this. Fantastic. 145, 148, almost 150. That's perfect because, folks, it's going to continue to rise in temperature as you let this thing rest.